Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at Grunt Usemin, which is a plugin for Grunt.js that uh, uh, what it does, it writes up a lot of the configuration files for you uh, and makes uh, identifying how you want it configured really, really simple. Uh, so I've got a directory here called Usemin and I've already just kind of set up some really, really basic stuff. I'll give you a look at that really quick. Uh, so I've got a directory called app inside of the Usemin. I've got an index.html, uh, a couple CSS files, a couple JavaScript files. I've got another directory here called build. And what we end up wanting to do is take all this CSS, concatenate it and minify it into one file, take the JavaScript, concatenate it and uglify it into one file. And then inside this build directory, create a new JavaScript folder, a new CSS folder and a new index.html file and uh, add to those the concatenated files and add that to our index.html in place of the inline uh, CSS and JavaScript. Uh, one thing I don't have in place yet is a grunt file. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that really quick, gruntfile.js. And then I'm gonna use, uh, or I'm gonna go ahead and install the packages that we wanna use. Uh, so it's gonna be grunt contrib concat, it's gonna be one, uh, grunt contrib copy, grunt contrib uh, uglify, Grunt contrib, uh, what do we got? Uh, CSS min, and then grunt use min, which is uh, what I really want to show you here today. So I'm going to go ahead and install those. Once those are set up, I'll load this up in our text editor. I'll give you a quick look at uh, the HTML I already put in place, and then we'll start working on our grunt file. So here's our text editor. Here's our basic application. We've got an index file. Uh, these CSS and JavaScript files, you can see they're just dropped onto the page uh, just to show that it's working uh, in the, so in the blue, it's just a class of blue with a color of blue, same for green, same for red, and then the JavaScript, I've got a quick little function that's add fact one and fact two and returns fact one plus two, or fact one plus fact two, and this one subtracts, same thing except it's subtracting. And then, uh, so I've got these uh, inline JavaScript files here. I've got this h1 with a class of blue and an ID of sum. And then uh, this inline script here takes that sum uh, h1, gives it an inner HTML that equals add two and two. If I run that in the browser, I should get a blue four. There's my blue four. Awesome. So again, what we want to do is concatenate and minify the CSS, concatenate and minify and uglify the JavaScript, and then replace these with uh, references to the new JavaScript and the new CSS, and we want all that to go in this build directory without uh, touching any of our original source files. Uh, so here's our grunt file. We're going to go ahead and get started on that. So module.exports equals function grunt. Uh, if you've seen my previous grunt tutorials, uh, this is all just kind of how you set up a grunt configuration file. Uh, so the config takes uh, uh, an object, and in there is where you load up all your configuration. And normally, because we're using, you know, we're using uh, copy and concat and uglify and CSS min and things of that nature, you would have to do a lot of configuration here. But we're really just going to set up three uh, tasks. I guess you want to call them three configurations. First one's going to be useman prepare. That's going to be an object. The second one's going to be useman. That's going to be an object. And the third one's going to be copy. And that's going to be an object. So in the useman prepare, we're basically preparing uh, the use of useman. We're getting ready to say, okay, here's all my stuff. Uh, and there's a lot more that you can do here. I'll put a link to, you know, the useman repository or whatever it is, uh, so that you can learn more about this. Uh, I'm going to keep it incredibly simple here. So just, I'm going to pass it my HTML. And this is my existing HTML, my initial HTML. And then I do need to pass it uh, some options. Uh, and at a bare minimum, I need to pass it the destination directory. So that's going to be build. All right, we're done with that one. On to useman. In the useman uh, configuration, I'm simply going to pass it my HTML. And uh, now this is the HTML that I want it to update. Uh, so uh, and, and so I'm done with that right there. And the reason that I'm telling it to update the build one uh, is because I don't want it changing my original one and using the copy configuration, I'm going to copy my app index HTML over to that build index HTML 
before I call Useman. So I'm kind of writing these out of order, but that's okay. Uh, so in copy, uh, you, you, you need a task of some sort. I mean, you don't have to call it task, but I'm just doing that in this case. And then all I'm going to pass in is my source, which is going to be my app slash index.html. And then I'm going to pass it in my destination, which is going to be uh, build slash index.html. And again, there's a lot more that you could be doing here. Uh, I'm just keeping it really, really simple. I mean, you can easily do wildcards and all sorts of stuff and tell it to go look for different assets and all sorts of different things. But again, in uh, just to keep it nice and simple, uh, we're done with the configuration in those uh, in those elements. Now we do need to load up all our npm tasks. So uh, let's see if I can get this done quick. Two, three, four, five. That sounds about right. And a little sublime magic here. So grunt uh, load npm. Uh, tasks and then we're just telling it you know the modules that we want to use so most of them are grunt contrib stack something and so here we'll load a uh, copy uh, concat CSS min uglify and then down here we'll do the use min and so that's that portion of it now down below that we're going to load uh, we're going to create our, our basically our, our one big old task so grunt that register tasks no task task yeah so that's a function it takes uh, we're going to call our build and then we're going to pass in an array of all the things we want it to do and the first one is going to be that copy task zero and then oops copy task zero and then we want it to run the useman prepare. And then we're gonna do, and the order here is kind of important depending on how you've set things up. In my case, it's it's pretty important that, you know, I can't do the minification before I've done the concatenation, obviously. Uh, but then I can do the CSS min and the uglify. And then finally, the uh, use min. Okay, I think we're looking good there. Now, uh, what's really, really, really cool about uh, Usemin is the rest of the configuration. And, and just so you understand, I mean, uh, when you configure copy and concat and CSS min and uglify and a bunch of other things that you might be using, uh, you end up with a much, much larger file than this. Uh, you can probably go back to my, some of my previous tutorials, just I was doing very simple things like less and coffee. You end up with a much larger file when you start doing a lot of these things. Uh, and that's the beauty of Usemin. Uh, so I'm going to go over here. And so it's going to read this HTML file uh, technically after it copies it to the build directory, I think. Uh, but what it's going to look for is these HTML blocks that I can put in place. So it's like an HTML comment. I pass in build and the type of build or the type of resources that I'm about to wrap in this command. And then I just give it a destination. So in this case, I'm going to say CSS slash site dot c s s yes okay so what i'm saying here and by wrapping it here with an end build oops uh, i'm saying that i want you to take everything that's wrapped in this and turn it into site.css in the build directory when we do that and so i can do the same thing here for this uh, javascript section so it's going to be build colon js for javascript and i'm going to say js slash uh, site .js. And then I'll close that off here and build. And you know what? We're good to go. Uh, I think we are. <laughs> so let's just run this thing. We'll figure it out afterwards. Let's clear this out and say grunt build. And everything worked fine. So just to take a quick look here, what it did is it created the concat configuration file for us. It, can, it created the uglify configuration, then it created the CSS min configuration, then it ran all those. It ran the concat, the CSS min, the uglify, then it ran the use min, it says it's done without errors. And if we go over to our build, you know what, something did go wrong. We are missing our HTML file. Uh, one thing you can see, right? Okay, so you can see the new CSS file is there, blue, green, red. You can see the new JavaScript is there, and it got rid of our fact one, fact two, uh, and turn it into a single JavaScript file. Uh, and our original HTML is untouched, but we are missing the HTML file here. So let me go back to our grunt file. Uh, and uh, there it is right there. You know what? This should be HTML. 
Uh, and so let me just run that one more time. And now if I go back here, you can see we've got our new HTML. Uh, it's got a single CSS file called site.css, which we looked at a minute ago. It's got a single JavaScript file. And if I load this up in the browser, it works just like we planned. Uh, so now if we want to go back to our original index file, which hasn't been touched, and let's say we want to create an orange .css. And uh, is this our original? You know, I've got a reference to a multiply here, but I don't have a multiply. So I'm going to create that. And so new file, mult.js, and that's going to be function uh, mult. It's going to take a and z, and it's going to return a times, oops, a times z. OK. And uh, we're going to create our orange, orange.css. And that's just going to be a class of orange which returns a color of orange. All right, so back to our HTML here. Uh, we've got our orange, we've got our mult, which I had there uh, from messing around earlier, I guess. So now I'm gonna change this up. So this is gonna return uh, multiply, and it was four before, so I'm gonna change it to four times two. We'll change this to orange. And uh, just so you can see, if I run this really quick, we get an orange eight. And uh, here's our build copy. It's still getting the blue four. It's still on the old, old, uh, the old build. I'm gonna run grunt build really quick, and it's all done. And if I come back here, refresh our build, we've got the the eight. And again, if I jump into the new CSS, we've got our add, subtract, and multiply. Our CSS page has, or our index HTML has the single CSS and single JavaScript file. Our combined uh, CSS got the blue, green, red, orange. And uh, you know what, that's not that much code. I think that's pretty cool. So that is a quick look at Usemin for Grunt. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one.